Today is Monday, October the 5th, 2020. It's the first trading day in our baiting beta program called Trade with Trade Live with Scott. Uh, we're going to be trading this live today, and so I'm going to be recording this along with that. Obviously, you'll be able to view it here in a historical nature once the day is done. You see the end of our trading results. Uh, I am uh, looking here at the strong open here this morning. We've got two things going on in the marketplace right now. Um, obviously, news that the president's recovery seems to be going well, as well as really some highly anticipated good news on some type of a stimulus package being pushed through. But the market is rebounding, and I believe that it would uh, do that in initially even on Friday as the market. You can see that we had this massive uh, sell-off here. Let's go to maybe a little bit shorter term chart. Let's maybe look at a two-hour chart, and you can see... Uh, that we had that big sell-off there on Friday when the president tweeted that he had the virus and the market actually bottomed and came back. And so I was really amazed with the resili resiliency of the marketplace on Friday. I thought it was going to rebound a little bit today. And so I do have some uh, long call positions in place here. I sold just this morning here. I sold uh, these uh, calls against them, uh, cover basically a synthetic covered call trade. Uh, but we're looking here about at the 8.30 hour to put our first trade in. Again, market is coming up strong. I want to look at the five-minute chart, see where we're at with this. And uh, you can see it's been a strong open to the morning here. Futures basically just rising all throughout the night. We hit the open there, pop to the upside. A little bit of pullback, but we're still off to the races right now. And so we're about, uh, again, a little less than 15 minutes away from putting our first trade in. And uh, I'm going to look probably somewhere around the uh, uh, 10 to 20 delta on the put side. So we're going to put the strong leg in first, which would be the put leg. So we'll take a look at that in uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, it's about 8.30, 8.28 right now. We just put in the first leg of our trade today. There's the put leg. Got a 75 cent credit on that. Uh, you can see there's my positions now. I've got the put leg in. Brought in to put up at about $11,200 on that particular trade. Brought in about $770 of net credit on that trade. It's about 9.30 right now. The markets are continuing to pile higher. And uh, I'm looking at putting a trade in here at the 34.15 level. Uh, but boy, the markets are still piling higher. I've got about 25 contracts there, down there on the put side. So should be able to do around the same, obviously. On the call side, uh, that would bring in uh, about $500 premium, 300 net, if everything was said and done. I don't know. I'm going to maybe sit on this for just a second here. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can get forty cents on a fill. That would be three hundred dollars. That's in and working, and I get that filled at forty cents. Let's take a look at my overall positions here. It's just after uh, the nine thirty hour when we put in our first trade. You can see that uh, I do have these two long call legs that are left over from my trading on Friday. <clears throat> Those are both obviously very uh, uh, in the money right now and making a lot of profit. I have sold right here a basically a synthetic covered call against them. And uh, so we'll see, that'll, that'll obviously cap out the profit there. but. You know, there's a little bit of extra profit. There's $500 of extrinsic value still sitting in those. So that'll be interesting to see how those long calls turn out today. Obviously, one of them here is expiring today. So I would need to close that one out today to book that profit. Uh, the other one here is uh, going out for 11 more days. So I still got some time in that one. Uh, I picked that one up just because the, the market was so resilient. It, it was so, I, I know on Friday, you know, when you got the Dow down three, 400 points, you're like, how do you say it's resilient? But it was just an amazingly resilient day on Friday in the marketplace. 
and uh, with obviously with the, the uh, president recovering a little bit today. And I think we will see. I think that we will see some stimulus coming out soon. So that should continue to hopefully drive this market higher. But here is our iron condor, four iron condor today. We are fully into that now today. I'll just give you some of the numbers on it. I'm using about $11,200 on those two legs uh, that I put in. Brought in $770 net of commissions. That's always important, right? Brought in $770 net of commissions on the put leg and then was only able to bring in $331 net of commissions on the call leg. So uh, just in for about an $1,100, somewhere in there, somewhere in there, uh, about $1,100 total credit on the day. We're at the 940 hour now. A few more hours, obviously, to trade. We'll see how the day goes. Push into the 11 o'clock hour here. It's 1047 exactly. And uh, you know, a little over three hours trading in the day. Very interesting that the market has just sort of topped out here. We've been, these are of course five minute candles that we're looking at. So it's been uh, oh, two hours uh, of trading here that the market has just sort of topped out here. And so I think even though we did not get a great amount of premium, if you look at our activity here, we didn't get you know, I got 40 cents is what we filled at on the call side, 75 cents on the put side. Would have been nice to be above 50 cent on the credit on the call side. But all things being equal, um, I think we hit that level uh, about as perfectly as we could from a risk perspective. Now, of course, we've got, you know, three hours left in the day, so we'll see where we go here. But it does feel like we've found a little bit of a top here. Uh, and just as a side note here, this is not part of the zero date expiration trade, but as a side note here, these uh, two calls that I own still from Friday, um, that sort of bodes well right here for the covered portion of this trade. There's still $500 of uh, extrinsic value sitting there. Uh, and we would need to be above 3390 uh, for you know that to lock out at full profit. So we're still a little bit away from there, but there is some profit still to be had potentially there. So I'm looking at a pretty good uh, solid day right now so far. No real action needed right now. So we'll check in maybe uh, around the noon hour or so and see where we're at. Well, we're right about at the noon hour, and uh, it does look like we have found a top here in the marketplace. Just in the last 15, 20 minutes, started to see a little bit of a sell-off taking place here. Not dramatic, but we are starting to pull back from those highs. Uh, everything that we have right now is looking solid, up uh, about $2,700 on the day so far. <clears throat> for that overall position, which is not too shabby considering the capital contribution uh, that we put in here. Uh, we do have uh, two hours left in the cash market trading, and uh, we'll look to exit here probably about a half hour before the market close, uh, about that 1.30 mountain time, uh, time frame. I do need to do something here uh, with this call that I own to cash in the profits on that. And uh, you can see, if I go to close that position right now, it's going to cost me uh, $8,000 of buying power just to close that out. And I don't have the buying power to do that. The reason why it's going to cost me so much buying power is because I'm short up here. I, I've basically done a covered call trade against that position, uh, along with the other call, of course, that I own down here. Uh, so I probably would need to cash that in too. I still got a little bit of extrinsic value sitting in it there. Uh, and so I'm going to maybe wait just a little bit longer on that. But everything else, guys, right now looking really, really solid. No adjustments needed. We just kind of bide our time. It's uh, 1.12. We've got about 45 or so minutes left in the trading day. Just about 15 minutes left in our trading session here before we close out our iron condor portion of this trade. I wanted to show you some activity that I've just gotten through do I'm doing. I went ahead and I closed out. Remember I had uh, two um, long call positions and I had sold some short positions against those. I closed one of them out right there for a nice profit and then I closed out. I just took the loss on the other one because I want to hold on to this one. I think that this market has some legs in it. I think that it has some room to run a little bit. And I want to allow it to do that. I've got 11 days left in that position. 
And so I went ahead and I just closed out the covered call portion of that. Took about a $200 loss on that, but uh, you know, of course, I'm sitting on a what? Almost a almost a $1,200 profit here on that portion of the trade. So about $1,000 up on that portion of the trade today. Uh, and then I went ahead and I sold uh, another covered call against that position that expires here in 45 minutes um, for about 20 bucks. That's my lunch money for the day. So that gives you a little bit of an update here of where we are in these positions. Uh, we're getting close to that 130 hour and we are uh, pushing up now closer to our call leg. So we may just close that out early here. Okay, it's 117. You can see that uh, with that tweet that President Trump is going to, Trump put out a, a typical Trump tweet that basically said that he's leaving the hospital at 6.30 tonight to go back to work, that uh, COVID is nothing, don't be afraid of it, and that they've developed wonderful drugs for it, and that of course has shot the market up, uh, and we are continuing that charge higher here. And so I went ahead and I took off our call leg of the trade. I put the call leg on down here at a 40 cent credit, was able to get out at a 20 cent debit. So I'm still doing the math here on my numbers. I brought in a total credit of 1101. I paid a $293 debit to get out of that call leg. That puts me up at about $808 for the day. Uh, assuming, of course, that everything still goes fine with the put leg. We've still got the put leg in place here. Uh, and then I've got this little tiny uh, covered call trade, uh, sort of sort of a synthetic covered call trade that I'm doing inside here as well. Uh, there's my lunch money right there. There's my 25 bucks that I need for lunch today. So uh, we'll continue watching that into the close. We'll continue recording into the close. But I would assume that that's pretty much going to be our net result for the day, guys. Um, basically uh, used uh, about... Uh, Oh, 1100 uh, or excuse me, $11,200 of capital is what I uh, started with on the trade and uh, ended up the day with about $808 of profit. So all in all, not too shabby of a day.